Rare thunderstorm asthma kills six in Melbourne, Australia. Six people have died and five others remained on life support after a rare condition known as thunderstorm asthma struck Melbourne, Australia, officials said Sunday. The sixth victim died in a hospital on Saturday night from medical complications stemming from a wild thunderstorm that struck Australia's second largest city Monday night, a health department statement said. Five patients remained in intensive care units. Three of them were in critical condition, the statement said. Twelve more patients were in hospitals with less serious respiratory and related conditions. Monday's storm caused rain sodden ryegrass pollen grains to explode and disperse over the city, with tiny pollen particles penetrating deep into lungs. About a third of patients who suffered asthma attacks Monday reported never having had asthma before. The storm overwhelmed emergency services and hospitals in the city of 4.5 million people, with 8,500 receiving hospital treatment. The world's first recorded thunderstorm asthma event occurred in Melbourne in 1987, when hospitals reported a five-fold increase in asthma cases. Similar events have happened in the United States, Canada, Britain, and Italy. The last major event in Melbourne was in November 2010. What is thunderstorm asthma? Thunderstorm asthma is the triggering of an asthma attack by environmental conditions directly caused by a local thunderstorm. It has been proposed that during a thunderstorm, pollen grains can absorb moisture and then burst into much smaller fragments with these fragments being easily dispersed by wind. However, there is no experimental evidence for the proof of this theory. While larger pollen grains are usually filtered by hairs in the nose, the smaller pollen fragments are able to pass through and enter the lungs, triggering the asthma attack. A pollen grain is a single cell. Invisible to the eye. So in theory this could affect anyone. We first thought that this was a localized event, however we have seen it move from place to place with cases in Birmingham, England, in 1983 and in Melbourne, Australia in 1987 and 1989. Since then there have been further reports of widespread thunderstorm asthma in Wagga Wagga, Australia, London, England, Naples, Italy, Atlanta, United States, and Awas, Iran. Most people fear thunderstorms, and now this fear may bring sickness or death as well. Stay paranoid my friends.